All right, guys, we are back. We're gonna start doing these housings. We're gonna start with easiest to hardest or least skittish to most skittish. And we're actually gonna start with the Brachypelmas first because they should be the easiest. I do have a kind of separate bin that we're gonna be taking them out of just to check them out. Uh, I may not get a lot of shots on camera. The safety and health of these guys come first. And so as a result, just as a heads up, you know, if you don't see anything on camera right away, please don't fret. Um, I will get some updated shots hereafter. And we'll get to them when uh, they're all settled in. So first one, we're gonna unwrap. Don't wanna do too much here. Gonna do this just in here. And I don't wanna disturb them too, too much. So this was the regular, yeah, this was the regular Bactopelma albuplosum. Uh, I think I can actually already see them. I can. So he's packed in here, very well packed. He is looking all good. Let's take this little dude out. Uh, definitely like quarter to half inch, kind of probably close to the half inch mark actually. He's a little bigger than I expected. Um, good size little baby. There he is. I'm going to try not to breathe on him either. I'm going to put him down in here in case he wants to run a little bit. And I'm going to get him into one of these guys. Again, the holes are definitely not too big. Uh, he will fit in there nicely. So, uh, then I'm going to put the cap on here after just to kind of mark which is which. Okay, let's get him down. Do have a paintbrush here as well with soft bristles so it's not hurt them. Let's see if we can't coax him out. There he is, nice and slow. Perfect, buddy, there you go. And he's in. He already found a spot under the cork bark as he's roaming around a little bit now. So we have him right in there. All right, first one is done. I'm gonna put this off to the side for the next Brachypelma, uh, Elephlosum. And don't forget the lid, just to keep him marked. Okay, hopefully they'll all be relatively easy, uh, but it never works out that way. Uh, next we have the Elblossom Nicaraguan form. Open up the cage ahead of time this time. And let's see this guy. Again, trying to be very careful on the opening in case he's on the lid. He is not. Put that lid off to the side. Get him out of here. Nice and easy. Okay, there we go. Uh, same thing as before. You shouldn't use your fingers, but I mean, it's a bracky. I'm not super worried at the moment. And this guy's also about a quarter to half inch. Okay, don't wanna stress him out too much. Let's see if we can get him in here. Shouldn't be too tricky. Right. There you go, buddy. It's all right. No, nope. that way. Yeah, perfect. Except off the paper towel. Don't go back. He's a little skittish. He also really likes staying on this paper towel. Right there. There you go, buddy. There you go. See, that wasn't too bad. All right, uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that I do have a ton of different sizes of crickets for all these guys, so they will not be going hungry. Um, again, I prepared pretty much everything I could, uh, making sure that all these guys would be safe and sound when they got here. And this guy's already trying to climb up here. Be very careful not to knock him down. If he wants to explore a little bit, that is okay by me. Just be very careful. All right, what do we want to do next? Um, I'm thinking the Afonopelma should be next. 
And so let's do that guy. Let's get this opened. These guys can be slightly skittish, but shouldn't be too, too bad. Again, checking the lid just to make sure. And we're all clear there. Gonna get this guy out. Uh, also, the paper towel here is definitely damp. So nothing to be too concerned about as far as shipping goes. I mean, Transfer Canada has been around forever for a reason. And they have quite the reputation in the hobby. So, or I should say in the community. Um, as you guys know, I don't like using that word hobby. And so I'm not too concerned about anything that comes from these guys. And this guy is also doing very well. That's definitely close to, or close to half an inch, three quarters of an inch. So that guy is looking real good. Decided to give him some leaves in case he wants to web up a little bit more. Uh, but for the most part, he's going to be uh, terrestrial. And as a sling, I would expect him to be a little bit uh, fossorial as well. So far, he's cooperating. I don't want to bug him too much. I want him to come out nice and slow. And if this takes time, it takes time. Again, the safety of the spider comes first, so not to stress him out. We're not doing a speed run here. I may have to restart the camera because it only has a 20-minute timer on it. And uh, if that's the case, then we'll do what we have to do. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. Good job. Set your own pace. He's coming. And he immediately hid for right underneath a piece of moss, which is good. Let's get the lid on him. He's just hiding down there. There we go. And he is all safe and sound. I'll be labeling these guys with label maker afterwards, obviously, but I uh, do, do just want to get them put away for now and so that they're all safe. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go with... And let's go with this one. All right, so next up, I'm thinking I'm going to do the, what do I want to do next? Let's do the Lajembergi. I think that'll be a good one next. Uh, how big was that one again? Let me double check their website here real quick. Quarter of an inch, so about the same size as those uh, elbows. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, those guys are a quarter of an inch. So quarter to half inch, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, how am I doing for time here? I'm gonna have to reset the camera. Uh, I got a few minutes left, so. Uh, all right, same thing here. I do have ketchup here just in case for some of the faster, more skittish species. Um, but let's check this guy out. Again, make sure he's on the lid, open very carefully. Again, he is not, because Tarantula Canada did an amazing job packing this guy. Uh, the same thing as before. I think I can already see him. Maybe. See a hole? Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, he's tiny. I'll put him down like that for a second while I open this guy up. Get ready for him. I'm going to put this knife off to the side, too. I don't need that. I can see him. He's heading to the bottom. There he is right there. Okay, buddy. We're going to have you come out. Uh, yep, yeah, holes are all good for this little guy. This guy's a little quicker, but not too bad. And 
here's out. And he has already disappeared. That's going to be a fun one to keep track of in this thing. That enclosure should last a while though, so that's good. Alright, just making sure I can see him in there. Don't want to bug him too much. And he is already deep in the moss underneath the leaf. So he has found shelter, which is good. He should be comfortable there. And we'll put him off to the side and get him in with the rest. All right, what are we gonna do next? Um, Philippinus is gonna be probably last. Hexerides, Confucius is a scorpion. Um, oh, these Confucius seem to have to use the tongs for it for sure, but the good news is I can't get out of there because it can't climb. H. Havana is actually a huntsman spider, sorry, I was wrong about the crab spider thing. Um, what sign uh, and the parvum? I think we'll do the parvum next, dwarf species. Uh, I think this guy's like a third of an inch though. Uh, Katamiri. Parvum. Oh no, he's a half inch. He'll be he'll be fine in there. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's do him next. Uh, let's give him this one. Cause I really like the layout on this one. I think he's gonna like it too. Actually, let's open it up first. Take that off camera. And it's gonna be the last one. Yeah, last one before I have to reset the camera up there. So let's hope for the best. It's gonna be like four. Make sure he's on the top. He is not. Uh, we're getting to some of the last few that I actually feel comfortable using my fingers with, uh, which means it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and a little slower for the last couple, but that's okay. Again, the important thing is just making sure that, oh, look at him, what a beauty. What a beauty, look at that guy. Absolutely stunning. I think he's gonna like it in there. I might even be able to do a bigger one for him. I mean, I don't want to give him too much space, but damn, he is a good looking spider. All right, we've got him in there. Hopefully you guys can see him. Don't start on too much. Nice and easy, buddy. Get him closer to the ground. Come on, buddy. You're okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this size enclosure form for now. Um, again, the big thing is just not giving him too much room and I think he's going to be a lot more comfortable in here. A little tight, but in a good way. Oh, he's going to be a webber for sure. I like that. He already started webbing me in the paintbrush. Okay, get rid of that. Get that lid on there. And yeah, just a beautiful little tee. That's probably more like three quarters of an inch too. That's that's a big size guy right there. And I'm pretty sure they're dwarf species. I'll have to double check that after, but uh, either way, I mean, again, gorgeous little guy and super happy with him. Okay, next up, we're gonna be doing, oh, Cancerides, burrowing species, and usually mine likes to web a lot, so I'm gonna give him a lot of anchor points here. 
Uh, and I think this guy was half an inch as well, which, man, if he's a half inch like that other guy, that's a really nice size. He is half an inch. All right, so get this guy in here. Um, again, just check, make sure he's underneath there. He is not. I'm trusting my gut on this one, and I'm going to use my fingers. This is a bit more of a skittish species. Um, this is one I actually might need to use ketchup on. He is right down there. He is all good. Got that beautiful coloration to him. He's already curious. He's probably going to climb on my hand. When he does, let's see if I can coerce him into going into here. I love the way these guys walk. Nope, he just wants to roam around. Very carefully. There we go. As he like jumps in. I'm gonna get that lid on right away. Okay, and that could have been a lot worse. But trust my instincts, and there he is, all safe and sound. And again, that's gonna be a great enclosure for him to web up, to burrow. There's definitely some substrate in there that he can get down into. Um, and yeah, I'll give him a water dish here along with the rest of them, once I've stopped filming, um, as well as a good mist. But yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Uh, what do we have next? Confucius. He's going into one of these small ones as well. Cancerides. God, I love these guys. All right, so the camera's had a chance to cool down now. I'm going to go with the Confucius next. Um, if this guy's anything like mine, it's going to be super jolty. Um, very defensive and as a result we're definitely using tweezers for this guy uh, but I do have to check to make sure he's on the top do this very very carefully he is not uh, I'm gonna put him in like that okay I'm gonna take him out try and keep my fingers clear of the sting zone Nice and gently. Okay. And let's see if I can maneuver this guy. Just looking for the opening here. I think I just found it. Okay. There he is. Oh, wow. He is super tiny. That is a lot smaller than I expected. I don't even know if the camera's picking him up. He's right there. Um, okay. I actually want him to stay on the paper towel because it's going to be a lot easier to get him into an enclosure from there. But what am I going to use for an enclosure? These might be too small for him or too big for him. Um, however, oh, is that going to be any better though? The container these spinifers came in that I got a little while ago, I still actually have. All right, so we are back. Um, I got this little tiny deli cup here that'll work for him. Uh, as I did notice, he came off the paper towel. Let's see if I can coax him back onto it. Come on, buddy. Love how he is when he just runs. Back onto here. Okay, let's see if I can get him. Don't go underneath it, go on it. There you go. That's it. That's it. Good job. Okay, just don't go back inside, please. Okay, get this round. that. All right, let's coax him in here. There he goes. Perfect. 
go through a molt in there and then we'll get them into something a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, he'll do well in there. He's so tiny. Oh, I love him. Awesome. All right, I'll put him off to the side. Um, okay. And I'm doing the uh, maculata and the violacis um, last, because I'm going to actually reuse the cup the Sturmy came in um, for one of them as an arboreal, because my arboreal sets are a little too big for them right now. They're only a third of an inch, because uh, I did double check that. And so they'll be last, but in the meantime, Let's do the Huntsman Spider. I'm going to set him up in this guy right here. I think he'll do well. It's a little more open and just a couple sticks kind of thing for him to uh, climb on if he chooses, but nothing too big. So a Shivana is next. Again, just making sure he's not at the top there. Uh, all right. Let's get this guy out of there. I want that to fold over. Just, oh, I'm gonna risk it. Perfect. All right. And I believe this guy's a quarter of an inch, so let's see if we can get him out of here. Okay, where is that opening? There it is. Right? Nope, not there. Right there. Oh, there he is. Look at that little guy. He's coming up to say hi. Beautiful looking spider, though. Definitely quick, as we're seeing. He's underneath this part of the paper towel right now. I'll slide this in. Okay. I'm going to have to rearrange here. Using our hands. We don't want to do that. Come on. Okay, I'm just off the side. Okay, he's out of harm's way. Oh yeah, look at that leg span. Doing the splits for us. Really cool. Oh man, hopefully you guys can see that. That is awesome. He's gonna be fun to have. And uh, I can confirm none of his legs are stuck up there, just so you know. He's kind of balancing there, but uh, man, that's awesome. Okay, we got him. Uh, all right, now for the Filipinas, and let's see. I don't know, I think he's gonna be pretty skittish as well. So we definitely wanna take care. Uh, Confucius lid, we're not gonna use because he's in his own little enclosure, so we don't have to worry about labeling him. We know which one he is. Um, yeah, so Filipinas, and then we'll do the Sturmy, and then we'll get those uh, Arboreals out next. All right. The same thing as before, make sure he's on the lid. This guy's a quarter of an inch. Um, I don't think so. No, nope, he's all good. Okay. Oh, I don't like when it does that. Don't want that bottom getting too constricted. I have a catch cup ready again, just in case. Let's hope we don't have to use it. All right, we're gonna lean over here to open this up. It appears I have failed to do so yet again. OK. 
Okay, well, if he wasn't aware we were here before, he definitely is now. And he is right in there. Okay, so far not too bad. Again, we're going to pop this in here. Okay, and we're going to take it from this side. He might even just come right out. Make sure I can get the paper towel flush. Right there, okay. And he just went right underneath the leaf, which is great. He's in that corner there. He is all set. Awesome. Now he's in this corner. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now the webcam isn't the greatest for quality of photos, but uh, I'll be taking some with the actual camera later on. And I don't even know if that was in focus, but here's hoping. Uh, so that actually went much easier than expected. Um, the one I'm probably gonna be the most cautious with is the HMAC. Uh, being small and being fast are two combos that usually aren't something I like to mess with too, too much. I wanna take all precaution necessary, so forgive me if I don't get the shots, because again, the animal's health comes first. Um, but yeah, uh, let's actually do the Sturmy next. So I've got his enclosure already, potentially. Uh, I do have a bigger enclosure ready on the side here, just in case he is uh, too big for this one. I think this should work. He's got a nice burrow in there. He's got some cover. He's got some really good um, moss in the background. I'm gonna mess this down real quick. Just get the moss nice and wet. Okay, we're gonna fill up the water dish. I guess I can do this on camera. Okay. Enclosure is all ready for him. Oh, all right. Stir me time. And then we'll convert this into a uh, arboreal setup and get it going. I guess I don't even have to really make a label for him since it's already right there. Stir me. Oh, fits perfectly. Now the question is, will he? Okay, check the top. All good. Okay. Same thing as before. We're gonna get this out of the way. Okay, yeah, he should be okay. Yeah, we don't want to disturb him too much. Let's not startle the poor guy. Okay, let's put him down very gently. Let's move this off to the side. Okay, I have this one ready. I'm trying to do this as slowly as possible. He's in this one. Can I get this one out of the way? I can. Sorry there, buddy. Shouldn't use my fingers here, but just like getting him out. Oh yeah, he's looking real good. Okay, I'm gonna lift him out momentarily. Okay, make sure that fits in there. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to coax him out. That's the direction he's facing, then that's the direction we'll try and get him out. Okay, don't want to startle him too much. It's okay, buddy. Okay, he's definitely active now. I'm gonna let him come out on his own time. We'll let him feel around a little bit. He started coming out, there's no point in trying to push him now. So he's going to be very flighty. Okay, it's okay if he goes down in there. Again, his health comes before mine. Okay, I'm going to attempt to get him back onto here.
Don't want to breathe on him. See if we can get him into the enclosure. And he's in. And he is safe. And yeah, I actually think that's a pretty good size enclosure for him for now. He'll probably outgrow that pretty quickly, but hopefully you guys can see him just uh, in the water dish right now. Or more so over top the water dish. But uh, yeah, he is all good. Uh, flighty like I expected, but um, otherwise not bad. Okay, let's put him aside up here. Alright, he's now off to the side and secure. And let's start building his two enclosures for these last two. All right, guys, I have a couple more arboreal enclosures set up for a third inch sling. Um, being that these guys are both third inch, we're going to start with the, the V. Olaceus um, first. And I'm probably going to try and house it in the old uh, Brachypelum Bolmi enclosure I have for it, or the container it came in. Um, and I've rehoused this guy recently as well, so he's in one of those small ones. And yeah, I'm going to go with this one for him only because. I feel like the HMAC with a bigger vial like this, that Sturmy came in, I'm more likely to get him in the vial the first time as opposed to a smaller vial, which just means more time struggling with getting him inside. That's my logic. I might switch these guys around um, at some point and put them into something else. But for the time being, this is perfectly suitable for them and we should have no issues with these guys and i'm actually going to have this in here already again check the top this is an arboreal species if anything's going to be on top it's going to be this one or the hmac it is not okay uh, this guy shouldn't be too too aggressive so i'm actually going to use my fingers to take him out this is a bit more of a docile species traditionally but of course traditionally doesn't mean guaranteed so do take caution and let's see if I can open this up a little bit. Again, damp paper towel. Tar uh, Tarantula Canada did an amazing job. He is right down in there. He's looking healthy and good, just like all the other guys. Um, okay, actually, he's a really cool looking sling. Beautiful looking. Okay, try not to go on my finger. And let's see if I can get you in here. Is there any chance you'd be willing to go into there? Okay, is there any chance you'd be willing to stay into there? Yeah, nope, that way. Up, up. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. You want to go back up? Nope, and there he goes. Pretty much entirely what I wanted to avoid. Right there, okay. I think I should be able to get him from this angle. Looks like I have. Okay, let's see if I can go down into there. Okay, just go down a little further. I don't want your legs getting caught. And then he came right back. All right. This is gonna be a fun one. Okay, that'll work. Perfect. He is in there now. It's actually a good size for 
I thought he was listed as a third of an inch, but now that I'm seeing him, that's close to half an inch, maybe even three quarters. Actually, now that I think about a third of an inch would have worked perfectly in one of those. What am I doing? For some reason, I just had a total brain fart and I can't do math apparently, and thought for some reason a third of an inch was less than a quarter of an inch. Um, okay, this guy's probably gonna get rehoused uh, sooner rather than later. And if that's the case, and I could still use this for the HMAC, if he's about the same size, he would fit in there. But the HMACs I've had in the past actually prefer burrowing as spiderlings. Um, I know they're listed as arboreal, but I don't feel like they get arboreal until later in their life. And for that reason, I'm actually thinking I might house him in one of those smaller boxes I've been housing everything else in. Um, in fact, that makes the most sense to me. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, so I've chosen the one. This is the one. Um, it was kind of made for a, like just this kind of sling. Uh, when I did put it together, I actually had a uh, lamp repel volioceps in mind for this kind of enclosure. But I think in the same logic, it's that like terrestrial, or sorry, arboreal, um, fossorial type species where they kind of tend to have a wide range of their enclosures um, and as a result I like to try and provide a little bit of everything so we can see here uh, we have the cork bark right here which I can burrow under we have uh, some plant uh, or some fake plants here that can web to and kind of create that funnel web they're known for uh, and then of course we have some uh, moss in here that can provide humidity but also act as other anchor points um, if it so chooses to do so. And same thing up here, we can use it as a bit of an arboreal type setup. So, HMAC. If there's one on the top, it please don't let it be this one. Okay, we're all good there. Uh, this involves tweezers, as I am quite familiar with these guys and how... Um, skittish they are and I just draw some a little bit which is not what I had in mind okay Let's see if we can get them out without getting them out in an ideal world I can just see him make sure he's okay and get him right into this enclosure like that okay I can see him I know he's okay I'm gonna get this enclosure in here right away before he kind of like wakes up um, when shipping tarantulas they do tend to be a little bit dormant until they really get know like what's going on okay, I'm gonna try and get him out right here Okay, he's now seeing me, he's aware of me. And he's heading right for my finger, which I'm not worried about the bite, I'm worried about him coming on to me. Oh, please stay there. Please stay there. Again, super calm, very steady movements. And look at how easy that was. The one I thought I'd need the most care for, or the most uh, caution around, and again, not for my safety, not even for the spider safety directly, but more for indirect safety um, because these guys are so fast, I just don't want to lose them. And there he is. Heteroscodra maculata. Uh, actually, one of my favorite tarantulas. And uh, yeah, I mean, just treat them with, with respect. Be very calm and they'll be calm in, in exchange. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. We'll let him take a quick tour of his enclosure and leave him be. So that is everything. The Oleoseppes. Um, nope, that is the, sorry, uh, HMAC. And I got the Oleoseppes stuck in my mind now because I was just talking about one. And there we go. All right, guys, I know this has been a long video. Um, gonna be honest, this might actually fall into a couple different parts. I might do the unboxing section first, followed by the actual rehousing. 
Um, and just release them as two different videos so it's not too long. Because it's going to be like an hour long video doing all those rehousings. But again, uh, care comes with a tarantula before, um, you know, I have to start worrying about time. So with that in mind, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification to see more feeding videos, housing videos. Um, and my next video, which is going to be, I'll give you a quick preview. Uh, no, I won't. Because it's buried behind a bunch of spiders now. I'll have to rearrange it after. Uh, my next video is going to be how to change or how to convert a beta tank into a trench enclosure. And that's going to be it. So thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.